Today I'd like to talk a little bit about ordered geometrical sets and some options that you have to pay attention to and how things work. So I'm going to go into insert ordered geometrical set and give this a name. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some parameters. So I'll go into tools formula and I'm going to create a new parameter and it asks me a question. And this question is, do I want that parameter to show up in the order geometrical set? If I select yes, it's going to put that parameter in there for me. And now I can make this whatever I need this to be. Create a new one, select yes, another parameter. Parameter, yes. Select OK. Now, the next thing I want to start doing is again, I'm using my ordered geometrical set as a, a special collection tool. So, what I want to do next is I want to start putting in all of my geometry that's referencing this inside of this order geometrical set. If I come in now and try, let's say, to insert a body, for instance, if I tried copying this body and pasting it in this order geometrical set, it's going to give me this failure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into insert. I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm going to go into tools. I'm going to go into options. And inside of tools options under part infrastructure document, I have this ability to turn on hybrid design. In this context, hybrid design allows me to uh, use bodies or geometrical sets a bit more flexible. They uh, allows me to stack bodies inside of my order geometrical set. So I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to select OK. You'll notice that these bodies turn gray. If I copy this and try to paste it in here now, you'll see I still get the same error. If I insert a new body at this point, you'll notice that it's green. So this is telling me uh, this is now usable here to put inside of that ordered geometrical set. These are the classic non-hybrid bodies. This is a new hybrid body type. So I can put these inside of an ordered geometrical set. That's why that enable hybrid design needs to be turned on in order to do this. Now when I create a sketch, you'll notice the sketch goes into that body. I can now create my sketch and constrain it. So this is going to be equal to the width. This is going to be equal to my length. And you'll notice, again, these are controlling this sketch. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to make a pad. You'll notice the pad goes into that part. And I want this to be equal to that height. So here, this body is being driven by these parameters. If I, now I need to make a change, I can come into this parameter and make that change quickly. What this allows me to do is it allows me to parse out that data. So if I needed to add an additional parameter, I can come in here. I'm going to say define and work object. I'm going to go to tools, formula. And for this, I'm once again going to say new parameter of type. Call it fill it red. Select OK. Now I can go down to this pad, define and work object. I can come in here. And for this, I'm going to say equal enter. That. Select OK. And once again, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to say define and work object, tools, formula. This time I don't want a length. I want an angle. I'm going to add a draft. So I'll say new parameter of type, 
Yes. And let's say five degrees. Select OK. Now you may give this all these unique names, as in appending the name with boss height, boss width, boss length, boss rad, and have a specific name for each one of these features for those parameters. That way, if you have to create multiple features, which I'm sure you will, you can now manage each feature within its own specific geometrical set, order geometrical set. So now I want to come into pad, I'm going to define a work object, and there's the fillet. Okay, I don't want to do anything to that fillet, so if I come in here and do my draft, equal enter, come in here, go back down to my fillet, define a work object. Now I'm going to change my draft and say to three degrees. You'll see that updates. That overlay that you saw there is just a, a slight little uh, error that I'm having on my system. I don't have a service pack loaded up to sort of correct that, so it, it just it's displaying the last element that you had as far as in work object. So it looks a little confusing, but just muscle through and it'll be just fine. The system knows what's going on. It's just a display issue on my machine. So if I needed to, I could come in here, change my rad, and those radius changes. And I can do the same thing once again, like that, that, and uh, I want to create equal, enter. So now I have total control through that one specific feature. Now if I wanted to, I can come in here, insert another order geometrical set, call this boss2, and then here I could generate all of my elements in here. So if I wanted to, I'll say length, say new parameter of type, say yes, it's going to go in there. So we'll call this one boss2. It's already got the name in there. And ad nauseum just continue on down so this is another way that you can sort your tree out so you can give this boss a name or the uh, or geometric set a name a specific name and all the features that are relevant to that can be put into that one boss now when you're done this is something that um, you can take if you were to say you know try to boolean this into here you're gonna have problems at this point because as you can see these are two different body types so that's not going to work so what you may do and what I've seen in uh, various locations is they just end up taking these bodies copying those bodies out going into a new file and saying edit paste special as a result with link now that I have that link or you could publish it <clears throat> to that. Now I can <clears throat> make all my modifications in one file here. I can do what I need to in this file and then this is just a simple working file and then I can do all my final booleans, adds, removes inside of a final working file. So what I've seen done in, in a lot of places is they like to separate all of their cavities out into uh, separate files because their cavities they may have two three four hundred cavities in one file and it becomes very difficult and slow to do all of the math in the one file so they'll create everything in one file and they'll copy those bodies out like this dump them into a separate file and then do all of the appropriate booleans there and send the part off to the manufacturing machine